Hey guys, it's fan service Renji, and these are things that cosplayers need to stop doing. Stop with all this share for share, like for like. I'll share your fan page if you share my fan page. In the end, that really does nothing for your fan page because all these people that are liking your fan page are only doing it because you're liking their fan page. Stop making these lazy ass GoFundMe campaigns to pay for your next cosplay or to get you to your next con. You don't need to make this cosplay you can't afford. I remember back in my day when I started cosplaying, when we couldn't afford to go to a con, we would work. Yeah, we would go to a job. Now, don't get it twisted. I fully support crowdfunding projects. I've backed up a few projects myself, but those projects were real projects. An artist was trying to launch a CD, someone was trying to publish a book. Cosplayers need to stop being racist. Why is racism still an issue in this day and age? You can legally smoke weed. You can get married to the same sex. All these great things are happening in this country, but you still can't cosplay someone out of your race? We need to stop giving each other unnecessary feedback about our cosplays. Unless someone is asking, hey, what do you think? What can I do better? Most cosplayers already know what they did wrong and they don't need some troll reminding them 10,000 times they could have did this better, they could have this better. As a cosplayer, I already know what I did wrong. Don't you think I spent hours frustrated and pissed off that I couldn't get this just right? Well, I make cosplay for myself. As long as I'm happy with it, I don't care what I could have done to make it better. Some cosplayers need to stop being so hipster about everything. Who cares what's trending? Who cares if thousands of people want to cosplay from the hottest show? I can't stand those people who are like, oh great, here comes more Naruto cosplayers. Oh great, here comes more Attack on Titan cosplayers. Oh great, here comes more Kill the Kill cosplayers. How does that affect you? Guess what? Everybody likes to eat. Are you gonna stop eating just because everyone else is eating and that's the cool thing to do? Oh my god, that guy's eating, I'm gonna stop. Shut up. Nobody cares. Stop giving yourself titles. I'm a dancer. Just because a DJ pulled you on stage for a few con raves does not make you a dancer. Do you dance on a weekly basis? Have you gotten paid to dance? No. And the honest truth is half of these girls that get pulled on stage to dance at cons are just girls that DJs want to hook up with. Sorry to break your hopes and dreams about being a professional go-go dancer, but that's the truth. If you only dance at cons, you are not a go-go and you are not a real dancer. DJs. With the magical world of technology, anybody with a laptop is now a DJ. If you only DJ at a con, maybe once a year, or at your friend's party, you are not a real DJ. If you have never gotten paid, got booked for a real event, or a club, or a bar, you are not a DJ. And this is my favorite, model. Yes, you wear a cosplay, and you model a costume, if you don't even know what the word go see means, or have gone to an audition, then you are not a model. A, models get paid. Hell, I brush my teeth every day. That doesn't make me a dentist. I unclog my own toilet after a long night of Mexican buffet, but that doesn't make me a plumber. Cosplayers need to stop having egos when they are con staff. Moment of clarity, you are convention staff. Your job is to serve the convention attendees. So technically, you work for us, the badge holders. That doesn't make you special, that doesn't make you a guest, that doesn't make you a celebrity. So leave your egos at the door and stop acting like your doo-doo don't smell. You don't go to McDonald's and see the cashier acting like a badass. You know why? Because they are McDonald's staff. They serve the customers, like you are con staff, and you serve the attendees. Cosplayers need to stop hating their body type. Because in my opinion, you're all beautiful. There's someone out there for all of us that will appreciate our features. Keep that in mind. And fellas, don't beat yourself up if you're not all buff and ripped and macho. Not every girl wants a guy that's all fit and ripped. Hell, some girls don't even care if guys are even manly. Perfect example, K-pop stars. Half of those dudes look like chicks anyway. Cosplayers need to stop slut shaming each other. If someone wants to dress sexy, then let them. I don't know about you, but I don't wake up and go, gee, I sure hope there's a bunch of unattractive people on my newsfeed this morning. Just because someone dresses sexy doesn't mean they're a slut. Those are two different things. I guess if a bathing suit cosplay makes you slutty, 
then the beach is full of whores. Cosplayers need to stop trying to go to cons when they have no money. We see it every day. We have people on our friends list that complain about being broke. They can't afford gas. They just lost their job. They can't pay rent. But you always see them at the next con, don't you? Get your priorities straight. Keep your ass at home. And lastly, stop wasting your time hating on the cos famous. Does how someone else cosplay really affect your day-to-day -day life? If Jessica Negri stopped cosplaying today, would it end world hunger? Would that make your boss give you the raise you've been waiting for? Would that make all your troubles go away? Would that make a bunch of cosplayers finally stop being little trolling asshats? No, I don't think so. Those are some of the things that I feel cosplayers need to stop doing. Now I know that's not as fun or as lighthearted as some of my videos in the past, but some of you have been asking me to address a few issues in the cosplay community, so I figured I thought I'd hit a bunch at once. So if you agree or disagree, just comment below. If there are a few things you think I missed or should add to the list, also comment below and maybe I'll make a part two of this video. I said it on my fan page before and I'll say it again. To truly be a great cosplayer, all you need to be is a good person. I'm Fanservice Renji, and I'll see you guys next time.